Okay, so for those who don't know, I got my channel demonetized for the video. Apparently, it's for the video that I did taking up for Brother Spell. You know, the pastor that was unlawfully arrested and also speaking up for the mom that was unlawfully arrested and the dad and the worship team, the worship teams in California that were going to be arrested or given like thousand dollar fines for singing in their own church with no, with no audience like just them in there singing doing their online service and I, it, I mean it is what it is it, it's not about the money it's a, it's a, about the whole ridiculous nature of this I mean it kind of the money helped a little bit but the fact is people are, are just so deluded and and people don't see that this this is not just oh can you just please comply when they're shutting people down for free speech especially with the church there's nothing no you can't convince me otherwise when the video that they're saying I was demonetized for harmful uh, spreading harmful content meaning supporting a pastor for continuing to have service as he should it is harmful and people are gonna still sit back and not think that anything's happening it's no beat just comply just comply Romans Romans 13 Romans 13 oh really let me read Romans 13 to you because I can't believe how many times I've heard this over the last month or two and I'm just like what are these people talking about why why do they keep quoting that and so I'm gonna explain to you why I'm like what what this is what Romans 13 1 through 7 says let every soul be subject unto the higher powers for there is no power but of God the powers that be ordained by God uh, of God whosoever therefore resisteth power resisteth the ordinance of God and they that resisteth shall receive themselves damnation okay got it for rulers are not for terror or good works but for evil so our rulers that we're supposed to have are supposed to be for those evil people doing evil things you see what I'm saying? Okay. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Same. For he is the minister of God. You see? You got to keep going. They want to pick out, oh, Romans 13, 1, and then Romans 13, 7. I think that's, or they're, they're picking out uh, maybe four. But, but this is not talking about your government. No, this is not talking about your government. This could be used to talk about a collective community government, but it's also, hold, hold on, let, let me just keep going before I, um, let me see. Do that which is good and thou shalt have praise for the same. Exactly, so do the right thing as long as you're doing right by who first? Yeah. Yeah, as long as you're not putting anybody unwillingly in danger, like if you all as adults decided that you wanted to go to service, you can absolutely do that because our constitution in the Bill of Rights states that you cannot make any laws against the church. None, zero, can't do it. It's spe specifically there for this reason. Actually, the Baptist ministers did that um, you know at the signing of it and everything because they didn't want to get ran over by the crazies like the puritans did or, or something like that see here's the problem in and so i'm reading this and i'm like what are they talking about what how are they getting this out of this and then it dawned on me wait a minute what version are they reading? Oh, they're quoting the New World Order 
I mean, non inspired version. I mean, gosh dang. NIV or any of the other very horrific translations, how convenient did they change that last verse right there into governing bodies? How coincidental. So people are going around copying and pasting this NIV version of Romans 13 and trying to make us, oh, oh, you're not doing as God said because you are supposed to be listening to your overrulers as if they're all ordained by God. Uh, I don't think, I'm going to put them side by side here in a second. Uh, you know, obviously Daniel didn't get the message, although obviously uh, Romans was written way after Daniel. But as with all of these people, there's a point at which, even if this was talking about governing body, that they cannot, we don't have a king. We have our rights here in the States. So to even try to use that is ignorant and shows that your pastor, if he is using this, is likely not somebody you should be following. Uh, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but you need to hashtag open your book because nowhere in the King James Version does it say governing body. However, in your New World Order, I mean, new, inspired, uninspired, wait, what? Not your NIV, it does say some governing body. Weird how they would change it to that. And then changed a few other things of governing bodies to stick it to you like that. And it's funny how all of their New World Order, um, One World Government, One World Religion pastors are the ones sharing this. It's funny. It was almost like they were already ready for that. Like they've been planning it for years and years. Yeah, all these false churches, Elevation, Joel Olstein, the NAR movement, all of these false pastors with stadiums filled of a bunch of false converts. It's sad. It's truly sad. And what's sad is pastors are sharing this. These aren't pastors. If they're sharing this, you better run. If they don't even know the Bible, I I'm not, I'm not, judging anybody, although I could for this, for a teaching moment, I could absolutely righteously judge them uh, in what they're saying. That, that is not what it says. It's not what Romans says. And it, it absolutely does not say bow down to tyrannical draconian laws made up over a possibly non-existent virus situation. And people are even using this to talk about the lady that was, uh, the girl that was arrested for opening her barber shop. Because I guess she's Christian. I mean, what? What? It, it, it boggles my mind how these even, like, fall for this stuff. I mean, of course, the left is going to use, the far left, whatever, they're going to use whatever they can to try to make you feel bad. Because they don't care, either way. They honestly don't. They care about themselves, it's narcissism, and any of these people that think that you should close down your business and lose your business and not feed your children and not worship, then they're narcissistic. Because it's about them. That, that's all they're worried about, is themselves. Um, but th the thing is, l let me be honest. If your pastor is trying to use this Romans 10, I mean, Romans 13 crap on you, if you see him posting that, go. Because he does not know the word. He just doesn't. Does, does that also mean that they should marry same-sex couples? It's the law of the land. It's the law of the land. 
right? How about go ahead and say, yeah, abortions are cool. Go ahead. It's the law of the land. How far are we going to go with it? Oh. See, that went, oh, oh, but, but, no, but. Yeah, you can't, you can't but, but back out of that. If people are, if you're seeing this, I know most of my audience already is like enraged with this whole nonsense, but share this with other people that keep sharing this Romans 13 out of context, out of, I mean, it's obviously they, they put that in there for a reason. That's why we call that NIV version, the new world order version or whatever. I mean, that's just a fact. That's what we do. Um, because there are very strange things in it that seem to be put in there purposely for for these days. For these days. And they just handily... And, and then they put KJV underneath it. I'm like, no, no. No, no, that's not what it says. I'm like looking. I'm like, how are they getting this out of this? That's not what it says. It doesn't. Let's go ahead and look at it. <laughs> side by side. Okay, real quick, I want to, because the online version doesn't show, I want to show you, see, these are, these are man-made, these subtitles and the numbers, they were man-made long time ago, but I, I think for this topic, I think it's still, um, very relevant. When you go to Romans 13, why am I on four? <laughs> Okay, and so this subtitle says, Be subject to higher powers. Good. Okay. Then the next one's Love One Another. That one's in this 13. Now let's see what the New World Order Bible says. Okay, uh, over here on the right, the subtitle heading is Submission to Governing Authorities. I'm not kidding. That's literally what it says. The NIV. The one that a lot of people have in their homes right now. For years and years, this is the quote that people put on their Twitters to try to tell Christians how they should be acting. And even, look, this is from these mega churches, New Life, whatever. Governing authorities, you must bow down to the governing authorities. See, it says it right there in your Bible. What, you you Christians can't even read your own Bible? Ha, ha, ha. No, that's not what the actual Bible says. And not only that, it's not how it's to be interpreted. So it says this in the New King James, the NIV, the NLT, the ASV, no, the ESV, all of these new versions, uh, who knows what it says in the mass, the message in the past, whatever, passion, those aren't even real Bibles. But see, if we use that, then we would then have to say that these communist leaders were also ordained by God. You see how this could go horribly wrong very quickly so Romans 13 1 in the King James Version let every soul be subject to the higher powers for there is no higher power but of God the powers that are ordained by God of God sorry but that's the one they want to use and you see here submission to governing authorities that's the subtitle in all of these new translations and then it goes on to say, Consequently, whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against God, what has been instituted. And they will bring judgment upon themselves. This is, this is a mistranslation, as is a lot of things in the NIV, NLT, and all of these other versions. Yes, we are to... Uh, pay our taxes, give to Caesar what is Caesar's, you know, all of these things. But th this is not saying submit to tyrannical orders. 
If we said that, then we would say these people in China should not ever worship because they're not supposed to. They're worshiping in basements, 100 degree basements, um, going against their government as they should be. There is a point at which this no longer, and again, this book was written from Paul to the Romans during their time. And yes, we should still use them, but that's why our constitution was written the way it is. We don't have a king. We don't have a dictatorship like what they were dealing with then. We have our rights. And when our governing authorities go against our rights, then yes, we should stand up and call it out. And it's shocking to see how many people are falling for these New World Order translations and even being just saying, oh, yeah, we should just give up everything because that one verse in the Bible says that when absolutely no, that's not what it says. Unfortunately, the U.S. has turned from God in so many ways. We have all these mega churches and all of these everything's about the flesh and people aren't reading their Bibles and they don't understand. They're not listening to the Holy Spirit and meditating on the word to see what the translation should be saying to you. There's reasons that certain passages, many passages in the Bible cannot be understood by those who are truly not saved and truly not followers and doers of the word. It's because it's not for them to see and hear. For those who have ears, hear. Those who have eyes will see. And those who don't will perish for lack of knowledge. Anyway, guys, y'all have a wonderful night. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, and just share this with people that are using this out of context. If some girl in her backyard working on some gardening can uh, take the time to do this and actually recite the word to you, uh, your pastor should be able to, but you know, the spiritual warfare, you gotta watch out for pretty much everybody these days. <laughs> Bye guys, y'all have a wonderful night.